This is We've Been Drinking MMA. Um, I am talking about the Ashley Yoder versus Emily Ducat fight. And my uh, decision on this is the method of victory is going to be decision. Yep. Nobody's fishing, finishing anybody. Yeah, for me, uh, I agree. My tentative pick in this fight um, with two pillow-handed fighters, my tentative pick, this is back end, my pick is uh, Emily Ducote, but I agree. I believe it's going the distance because they both have pillow hands. Um, and that you can't finish each other. And um, the only reason I'm going to say tentative Ducote is because she kicks harder. That's it, to the legs. But Yoder's got pillow feet too, so that's the only reason is that I'm picking Ducote. But yeah. going the distance, um, probably going to put some money on it But uh, because it's just going the distance. But we'll see the price. If it's like minus 1000 you know, a thousand dollars to make a hundred don't go in the distance. Obviously, I'll just leave it alone. So Minus three hundred on this <laughs> fight is ridiculous. Minus three hundred for Emily Ducote. That's ridiculous. Why though? Why would you want to yeah. do that? You know, why? The point is, is like, why would you want to bet on somebody who you know is not gonna really hurt the other fighter? And the other fighter has more fights in the UFC, so it's yeah. kind of like she's, you know, whatever. It's kind of one of those fights where you're like, okay, fifty fifty. All right, they're probably not gonna do any damage at all. I think this is why <laughs> Ashley Yoder's last fight was two years ago. Fair enough. And and she's lost her last two out of three. Actually, two out of four, four to five. She, she's one in. She's one in four in her last five fights. And yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's probably why, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yep. And then uh, and then the other girl, Emily Ducote, is well, one in two in the UFC. One in two. All decisions in all the deci- UFC. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, let's see, let's look at Yoder's last, like, just oh, last all, six. All, all decisions. Last six in her. Actually, a lot more than that. Yeah. But it's, like, almost all decisions for Yoder in every single fight for Dakota. Nine decisions for, nine fights and nine decisions for Yoder. Three fights and three decisions for Dakota. It's all decisions. Yeah. In the UFC. So, method of victory, decision. That's pretty <laughs> easy right there. That's it, man. Both of them have no 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 power in their punches, um, and that's it. Ducote moves a little bit better, and her leg kicks are a little bit more powerful, and that's the only reason I would pick Ducote. But uh, that's going it, on my parlay right there. What the going the distance? Going the distance. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I hope it's it's something like minus four hundred or something. I know it's going to be expensive, obviously, when it's this obvious, but it's got to happen. And it's yeah, parlay makes a lot of sense, yeah. definitely. If you want to put money on this fight, which I guess you could, you could, but like. Like the most obvious blaring thing that's pointing it out to me. A hundred percent decision rate. It's it's the way these people are either losing or winning is by decision. Right. So right. I think that's pretty easy right there. I'm going with a hundred percent. It's a hundred percent fact. It's the fact is it's a hundred percent uh chance or hundred percent uh in, in, in their history that they in the UFC that all their fights have gone to decision a hundred percent of the time. So Easy pick that it's going to decision. Thanks for listening, everybody. Like, subscribe, comment. Thanks, everybody.